there were disgraceful scenes in Parliament this week with the Greens and a couple of those vacuous teals actually backing Hamas. Can they get any mm. worse, Bernie? Well, I tell you what, Corey, I, I, uh, I, <laughs> I just wonder sometimes, just when you think they've, they've hit rock bottom, just when you think they couldn't get any worse, they come out with something like this. Now, you know, Hamas is a terrorist organisation, an organisation that is dedicated to the killing of Jews. As long as there are Jews on this earth, Hamas will have a reason to, uh, to uh, survive. Now, um, that, that's yet to be seen, of course, over the next uh, little while. But, uh, you know, for the Greens to be supporting an organisation like that, and Hezbollah too, I assume, uh, is absolutely appalling. You know, in, in countries overseas, and I'm a, I'm a great supporter, as you know, uh, of, of freedom of speech, um, freedom of, 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 of movement, a whole, whole range of freedoms. Uh, but on this occasion, you've got to wonder if an organisation, a political party, supporting a terrorist organisation shouldn't be deregistered. Uh, what, what, what is going on in this country uh, when you can have a, an organisation uh, which, you know, beheads babies, rapes women, murders entire villages, and a political party stands up and says, that's OK with us? I mean, what, what is going on in the heads and of these people? Them. They're insane. It, uh, it, yeah, it does. It, it, it endorses is, them and it supports is them. Uh, it, it, is, it is just beyond, beyond understanding. It, and, you know, Bernie, this is the thing, right? Israel, they're responding to these terrible terror attacks. That's, I think, a very justifiable response from the Jewish state. Things do seem to be escalating rapidly, though. And my concern here is that this has a potential now to spark a, a, a global conflict, uh, because as the Arab states gang up against Israel and the terror attacks, and then you've got these useful idiots in the West who, you know, are backing the terrorists as well... Where, is, mm. where do you see this ending? Well, it's a real concern. And I was particularly concerned the other night when I saw Joe Biden at his press conference in uh, Jerusalem uh, because that guy didn't know where he was. He didn't know what he was talking about. And he, he gave the distinct impression um, that, uh, the, the, that America is clueless. Uh, you know, he had, he had cards in his hands um, that he was mumbling... Well, I assume he was reading them, but he was mumbling away, and uh, he just left the, the, the message to the for the world to see that America does have not have a leader. Uh, and you know, let, let's face facts: if Trump had been president of the United States, this wouldn't have happened. Russia wouldn't be in Ukraine, and uh, and, and the Palestinians, uh, the Hamas, wouldn't have attacked Israel. Uh, you know, w what what we have exactly in the White right. House is weakness. And everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. And they're taking advantage of it. And, and that's the thing that could lead to an international conflict because they see, they see an opportunity yeah. and, and they just might take it. There is a geopolitical realignment going on because of America's weakness. Hey, Bernie, I've got to leave it mm, there, but thanks absolutely. very much for your time. I look forward to speaking with you again very, very soon.